In this lecture, we are going to talk about osmotic equilibrium and role of different types of fluids like isotonic fluid, isoosmotic fluid, hypotonic fluid, hypoosmotic fluid, hypertonic fluid, and hyperosmotic fluid. In our last lecture, we discussed in detail isotonic fluid, hypotonic fluid, and hypertonic fluid. Today, we are going to discuss those terminologies in relation to the other terminologies like isosmotic, hypoosmotic, and hyperosmotic. And we will see the comparison and we will see the different types, the different types of effects these fluids are having on the human cells. Now, suppose for example, this is a cell of a human body. This is a cell and this is having, this cell is basically having a normal size and shape. Now, if we put it in a fluid, which is basically isotonic, it simply means that this fluid, this fluid, the isotonic fluid is having the same concentration is the concentration of the fluid inside the cell. So iso is the same and tonicity is the basically the osmolarity or the, uh, the concentration of the fluid. So this fluid is basically having same type of concentration as the fluid having inside the cell. Now we see that while considering isotonic and hypotonic and hypertonic, we assume, we assume that the solute present in these fluids are basically impermeable or the cell membrane is not allowing any type of solute to enter. Only and only water can enter the cell. But in isotonic fluid, even water will not enter or leave the cell because there is no uh, there is no gradient for the water to come. There is no difference in the osmolarities of the fluid inside the cell and outside the cell. We discussed this thing previously as well. Now, uh, discussing the hypotonic fluid, the hypotonic is a fluid in which the solute concentration is basically less than, it is less than the concentration of fluid inside the cell. So, what happens is that if a cell is pla placed in hypotonic fluid, water will start entering the fluid because the concentration is high inside the cell. So this cell will basically start, start increasing in size and swelling of the cell will occur in hypotonic fluid. But the solute cannot enter. The solute, the solute cannot enter because the cell membrane is not permeable to the solute. It is only permeable to water. So water is entering the cell and it has increased from its original size and shape. It has increased in size and swelling has occurred in hypotonic, a fluid with low concentration of solute and high concentration of water. So in osmosis, we discussed that in osmosis, the water basically moves from a region with high concentration of water to a region with low concentration of water. Now in isotonic, if a cell is placed in isotonic fluid, the size and shape will remain the same. If cell is placed in a hypotonic fluid, it, it will swell. Hypertonic fluid on the other side, if a cell is placed in a hypertonic fluid, the concentration of this fluid is basically higher than the concentration of fluid inside the cell. In other words, the concentration of water inside the cell is higher than the concentration of uh, water in this fluid. So basically water moves from a region with high concentration to region with low concentration. Water from cell starts leaving the fluid and it basically shrinks inside. So the effect of isotonic fluid on the cell is that neither water enters the cell nor it will leave. In hypotonic fluid, water from outside will enter the fluid and the swelling of the size, the size of the cell will increase or it will swell. But we make sure that solute will not enter the cell, will only be permeable to water. In hypertonic, the cell inside, the water inside the cell will rather leave into the fluid and the size of the cell will shrink. Now, to compare these things with uh, isoosmotic, hyposmotic, and hyperosmotic. The difference is that in isoosmotic fluid, the osmolarity or the concentration of the fluid is the same as in the is the fluid inside the cell. It is just like the isotonic fluid. The concentration is just like the isotonic. But the difference is that here we do not consider we do not consider the permeability. We do not put a, a restriction on the movement of salute. So the salute may or may not be permeable through the cell membrane and it can even enter inside the cell. So here you see the salute has basically entered the cell, it, inside the cell. Here you see there is no entrance of salute. The concentration of the isoosmotic fluid is just like the concentration of isoosmotic fluid is just like the concentration of fluid inside the cell. It, it was the case in isotonic fluid as well. But isotonic refer basically to the fluids which either increase or decrease the size of the cell, whether it causes swelling of the cell or it shrinks the cell. That is basically the case in isotonic, hypotonic and hypertonic. Here in isoosmotic fluid, the concentration is the same, but the solute is basically permeable or the, it can go through the cell membrane. Now see this, this is the same uh, thing as in hypoosmotic fluid. In hypoosmotic fluid, 
The concentration of the solute is basically less than the concentration of solute or the fluid inside the cell. But here again, the fluid is permeable, the, the cell membrane is permeable and it may or may not allow the movement of solute and the solute can even enter inside the cell through the cell membrane. Now, when this happens, even if the cell, this, the, the, this fluid is hypoosmotic, if even the concentration of the fluid is less than the concentration of the fluid inside the cell, still the size of the cell will not increase because we call a fluid hypotonic because of its ability to increase the size of the cell. But we do not call it hypoosmotic on this basis. If it increases or decreases the size, we only then call it hypotonic or hypertonic. So here, the concentration remains the same. The concentration is basically less than, hypo is basically less. The concentration of this fluid and this fluid is less than the concentration of fluid inside the cell. Both the fluids are the same in terms of concentration. But the difference is that solute here is basically coming inside the cell through cell membrane and it distributes evenly and it will not allow the movement of water. Here the solute will not enter the cell membrane and the solute will not enter into the cell. So only and only water will be coming inside and this cell will swell and it will increase in size. Here the salute and this here the salute is able to come inside. So the movement of the water is basically restricted. The movement of water is restricted and basically it uh, the osmotic equilibrium is achieved. The osmotic equilibrium is achieved very quickly and the concentration inside and aus outside becomes the same and there is no gradient for flow of water inside the cell as happened here. So that's basically the difference between the hypotonic and hypoosmotic. In hypotonic, the fluid is able to increase the size of the cell due to the um, due to the entry of water and the solute being uh, impermeable or uh, cannot enter the cell. Here, the solute can also enter the cell. So when the solute has entered the cell, the solute, the, 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 the concentration of the fluid inside the cell and outside the cell, it becomes uniform and it achieves an equilibrium due to which there is no flow of water and the cell, size of the cells does not increase. So it creates a difference between these two different terminologies, although the concentration of both the fluids are the same, but permeability to the solute creates a difference. Now same, same thing can be applied in a hypertonic fluid. In a hypertonic fluid, the fluid can go out the fluid can go out, but the, the solute inside the cell cannot go out. So only water goes out and the cell size shrinks in hypertonic fluid. In hyperosmotic fluid, the concentration of fluid outside the cell is higher as compared to the concentration of cell inside this uh, concentration of fluid inside the cell. But at the same time, the, the, the solute inside the cell can go out. The solute inside the cell can go out. Here only water could go out. Here only water was moving out. So with uh, removal of a lot of water, the size of the cell shrunk and it decreased in hypertonic fluid. Here the solute is also going out and as soon as the solute goes out, it achieves an osmotic equilibrium. An equilibrium is achieved and no movement of water is occurring. So the cell size remains the same. So isosmotic, hyposmotic and hyperosmotic only refers to the concentration of fluids. And there is no restriction of movement of salute across the cell membrane. And there is no change. There is no change in the size of the cell in isosmotic, hyposmotic and hyperosmotic. In isotonic, hypotonic and hypertonic, the difference is that the concentration of the fluid changes in, uh, relation, to, in relation to the fluid concentration inside the cell. But the thing is that the cell membrane is impermeable to salute. Salute cannot move through the cell membrane. Only water moves. And these fluids are basically able to bring changes in the size of the cells, in the size of the cells. So that creates the difference between the isotonic and isosmotic, hypotonic and hyposmotic, hypertonic and hyperosmotic fluid. That's all about these uh, different terminologies. And this is basically a simple lecture. Thanks a lot for watching the video.